Welcome back. So in this episode, we're going to be adding a zone to the Vista 20P security panel. So this is a zone that we're going to be adding. As you can see, it also just has two wires coming out of it, which in turn is wire nutted into the same type of wire that I've been using for almost everything else in this project. And yeah, on the other end, we're just going to be using two wires anyway. So you might be wondering what the two wires are for on the zone. One wire typically acts as a common, while the other acts as a normally open or a normally closed circuit. So in this case, we would want this door slash window contact to be a normally closed circuit, because when these two pieces are together, it's closed. It's a closed circuit. And if these ever come apart and come open, therefore breaking the circuit, um, that's when you would want the alarm system to react, depending on what state it's in. And here is an example of something that would be a normally open zone. Just a simple button like this, you, in which you push in to complete the circuit and make the panel react. Something else that could even be a zone if you wanted it to be, could even be uh, a simple on and off switch, in which those could even be either a normally open or a normally closed zone. So you'd flip it on or off uh, to break or complete the circuit. So here we are back at the main panel. So referencing the schematic again, the zones start with terminals eight and nine, but we're actually going to skip zone one, which is eight and nine, because that is by default reserved for a fire detection zone. So we're actually going to start with zone 2, which is terminals 10 and 11. So now, yeah, here's the other end of the wires for that door contact. So for a simple zone like this, the common and the normally open or normally closed wires, um, the order in which you put them in doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter which, yeah which order I put these in the panel, it's not going to make any difference at all. So, I'm just going to be putting one wire into terminal 10 right here, and I'm going to put the other one in terminal 11. And there we go, we've just wired in the zone. Alright, so I have just powered up the system, and now here we are at the keypad. So, in order to get to zone programming, first you have to type in the installer code, which is 4112, and an 800 following right after that. So, 4112, 800. And here we are. So, to get to the programming menu is star 56. Set to confirm, you always push no. And then here we are. So, it's asking you for the zone number. It's going to start with number 1 by default, but we want to skip that, like I said earlier. So, we're going to type in 02 instead and start there, and then hit the star key. In a nutshell, the star key is basically the next key. We can skip that. That's just an overview. So, here we are at the zone types. And, and yeah, there's several of these, actually. Uh, entry, exit, 1, and 2. Like, 0, 1 is entry, exit, 1, and 0, 2. Yeah, is entry, exit, 2. Those are, like, if you were going to put this door contact or whatnot... Um, on like your front door so like if you open it you don't want the alarm to immediately go off uh, depending on what state the system is armed to if it was like armed to a way and you opened it it would start the uh, countdown for you to enter your code before the alarm goes off but if it was like a I think zero three is perimeter yeah if, if it was a perimeter that would just instantly cause an alarm to go off no matter what state the system is armed to whether that be like a way stay night etc I'm just going to show you all the zone types as well. Zero four, interior follower. That's like if you have a that's that's for a motion detector zone. Let's see, trouble alarm. I mean, that's just like if you want it to not exactly cause a full alarm to go off, but you want it to beep and get your attention because you know something isn't quite right. Twenty-four hour silent. That means no matter what state the system is in, whether it's armed or disarmed, an alarm will always go off 
but there's no audible alarm with it. Audible, that's the exact opposite of what I just said. Auxiliary, uh, still same concept, um, except if you have an external siren connected to the system, if this zone trips, that will not go off. It'll only cause the keypad's alarm to go off. And yeah, zone 9, or sorry, uh, zone type 9 is fire. Let's see, I don't think there's such thing as a 10. Or I guess there is. Even I don't know what that is. 24-hour monitor. Never tried that before. Uh, yeah, feel free to try for yourself. 13, though, or 14 is carbon monoxide. Yep, CO. So those are all the zone types that I know about, anyway. Um, so anyway, I want this door contact to be type number one, which was entry exit number one. And then start through that. Yep, start through that as well. That's not important. Start through that. Still not important. And then the hard wire type. Um, actually, yeah, it's already right. It's type number one, which is normally closed. Because um, this door contact, I mean, the pieces are always expected to be together, which means the circuit is always completed or closed. Uh, what other hard wire types are there? Of course, normally open to. Double zone. Double, even I, even I haven't tried playing with some of these before, but I think those might be the only ones. Yeah, I think I think there's only four types of those, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna choose uh, normally closed and star. Yeah, start through that. Not important. Start through that. Not important. And in program output, that's if you want to name it. But I'm not going to do that right now. Maybe we can cover that in another video. So put zero for now. And there we go. We just programmed the zone. So to, to get out of this, we push zero zero to quit. And then to get out of programming, it's star 99. Yeah, it's still going to be yelling at me for other troubles and faults and whatnot because this has previous configuration on it. But now let's zoom this out a little bit. And let's bring up the door contact to the camera and now let's let's put these two pieces together hey would you look at that the green light comes on meaning that it's ready to arm and we break it the light goes away and the zone is vaulted so that's how you put in a zone on the Vista 20p panel so that's gonna do it for this episode um, and I'll see you in the next one